so I can name them now this is 81 dash this is 61 dash this is 21 dash this is 31 dash 41 dash so this is the final figure that I have for this so I've drawn the top view as well as the front view both of them are available to me so let's move on to the next question now a pentagonal plate of side 45 mm has a circular hole of diameter 40 uh, of diameter 40 mm in its center the plane stands on one of its side on HP with its plane uh, with its plane perpendicular to VP and making an angle of 45 degrees to HP now we have to draw its projection so the thing is let's see I'll show you what it is on the top view it is we have an hex uh, sorry pentagon now this pentagon has a circular hole in between so if I want to keep a circular hole just a sec yeah so if I want to keep a circular hole at its center so then this orange circle will show you that it has a circular hole at the center which is exactly the center of the pen, uh, pentagon that I'm talking about so it is there this is the kind of top view that initially top view that we'll have so the front view would be what the front view again so if I zoom out and if I see the front view then the front view would be exactly a straight line as you can see with a white background there is a straight you see the flip the flipping that I'm doing yeah so now what I have to do is I have to this plane has to move up this way this side is there on HP this side is there on HP so now I have to make an angle of 45 degrees this angle that my these two points are showing has to be 45 degrees so in that way what will happen is see in the front view this uh, circle will get converted into an ellipse and this will uh, the dimension this dimension this dimension of the pentagon will actually decrease and the front view would be something uh, of this sort and the, uh, the top view would remain as a straight line which will be at an angle of 45 degrees so uh, let's write the given data first okay so the given data to me is a pentagonal plate of side 45 mm the next thing that is given that it has a circular hole so the diameter of the circular hole is 40 mm that's why radius is 20 mm and it stands on HP on one of its sides and with its uh, plane perpendicular to VKP and the angle theta that is given is 45 degrees with respect to HP so now what uh, we have to do first of all I'll draw a pentagon uh, before that I'll draw a straight line which is my XY this is line x y first thing that I have to draw is I have to draw a pentagon of side 45 mm so how am I going to do that I'll use the old method old type of method the side is in HP so here I will have a straight line of 45 mm so I'll do this I'll draw a straight line of 45 mm now I'll take the angle that is there in the pentagon is for 72 degrees so I'll take this and I will mark 70 this is 70 if I zoom in
so here I have this is 70 this is 71 and this is 72 so this is the point that I have so using the scale again what I'll do I'll mark 45 mm how will I do that so I'll keep this as uh, five and a half and I will ma draw a line till one again here I'll do I'll take angle I'll take angle this is 70 71 and 72 and again I'll keep this at 5.5 .5 and I'll mark I'll draw a line till 1 which is again 4.5 and now what I'll do simply I'll draw a perpendicular bisector and then cut an arc of 4.5 from there and then join the points that will be exactly as 4.5 So this is the pentagon that I have. Now I, I'll. This was the original figure. I had just turned the page so that I could make you understand that how I'm drawing the pentagon. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll mark the points as as I did that as A, B, C, D, and E. Now I already have this one perpendicular bisector so what I'll do I'll do draw another perpendicular bisector uh, or drop a perpendicular right from here in this manner so this will give me the center of the this is the center of the hexagon so with that I need to draw a circle in between which is of diameter 40 mm so the the radius would be 20 mm from this center so it will go as this I'll make it a bit dark using my sketch pen so that it's visible to you now I'll divide it into 8 equal parts I'm, again I'm doing it randomly so you have to do it properly and I will name them as one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nicely done. Okay. So this next step is to draw the projectors. Uh, sorry, the projections of these points on the line X Y. So this is one point. this is another point mm -hmm. this way
and finally here now i'll name this this will this point will be a dash and b dash why because these both points are coming here then this will be one dash this will be two dash and eight dash this will be three dash and seven dash the next point would be c dash and e dash this point would be six dash and four dash and this point will be d dash what we need to do now is that this is actually our two views basic views here this is the top view and this is the front view that is the green line so what i need to do is i need to put this line pick it up and keep it on this line and make an angle of 45 degrees so first th thing that i'll do is i'll draw a straight line of 45 degrees i'll take one point first say suppose i've taken this point now what i'll do i'll draw a line a straight line of uh, where is 45 yeah this is 40 this is 40 degrees now this is 45 so I'll measure AD uh, I'll draw a straight line first I'll use the pencil to draw a straight line which is connecting both the points now I will measure the distance A, A, B, A dash or B dash and D dash and I'll cut an arc here so I can name them now this is my A1 dash and B1 dash and this is point is D1 dash this point and this point this point comes here okay so the next point that is there is point 1 so I'll mark this point 1 then the point comes is 2 and 8 so I'll mark 2 and 8 the next comes is 3 and 7 this point next is E and C the next point that comes is 6 and 4 and the final point is oh we are sorry we skipped one of the points we did not take this point 5 we did not extend its projector so I will do that uh, that's what I saying I forgot the counting this is 5 dash so next thing that we will do is 5 and then cut an arc and then finally D is already there so I will make them bolder and mark the points which will be as this is 1 1 dash 2 1 dash and 8 1 dash second point third point is 3 and 7 so here the third point will be 3 1 dash and 7 1 dash this point is C E and C so C 1 dash E 1 dash then comes 4 and 6 so 6 1 dash and 4 1 dash this is this point is 5 1 dash and finally D 1 dash the next point extend the projectors vertically downwards
I'll start from here otherwise it will get dirty Please draw these lines neatly. I have to draw it bold. That's why it is getting a bit irregular. And you have to be better than me, obviously. So these from 3 and 7. Now from 2 and 8. And finally from 1. Okay. Now the crucial part. The crucial part is very easy actually. Let's start from the top. This is point E. Now where is E on this line? Let's search. This is the point E. So this is the line that is coming. So this is the point and I will draw the extenders till here. This is what? This is my point. E1. The next that comes in line is A. Now where is A? A is here. So this line will come here. I'll extend the line. This point is A1. The next point that comes in line is 7. Now where is 7? 7 is here. So I will have this as this point. Extending the line. Then I have 8 and 6. This is my 6. Ah, sorry, this, this point is my 6. And this point is my 8. This is my 6-1.